Today I'm going to be camping out here in this field. We're going to do a tarp shelter. I'm going to sleep on the ground. I have my Gore-Tex bivy and a wool blanket as my bed tonight. It's been raining. Last night it stormed all night. Everything's super saturated. Inside this dry bag I have my uh, Hemlock Mountain Outdoors tarp. It's 10 by tw it's 12 by 9. What we're going to do is stake this side down. Do the same on the other side. Yep, we're gonna we're gonna need two poles. Let's go do that. What I'm looking for is uh, just a small sapling or dead something dead. I think we're going to have to clear out a little pathway to get in through here a little bit easier. I brought the machete. See, this is what I wanted right here. You probably can't see that, but there's a deer down there at the edge of the woods just looking at me. It's a doe. So what I'm doing to these two poles is just put a little, little point on them so I can drive them in the ground a little bit so they're more sturdy. I should probably do them out at a little bit of an angle instead of straight out. That way I can get maximum tension on the front of that tarp. So let's come out about a foot or two away from the edge of the tarp. Taking this in with a Marline spike hitch. Real quick for, for a Marline spike hitch. I'll take this glove off. Just make a loop and roll it up over on itself. Go under, through like that, pull it tight. And as soon as you pull the stake or whatever you're anchoring to out, it just comes apart. It's super easy. Super easy cheesy. Not a metal tie out on this thing, so I'm gonna find something to put in there and then wrap paracord around it and pull this back to give me more headspace. Oh, I'm sorry, I'll spare you the agony.
it's raining. <clears throat> I just looked on the radar. It's gonna be it's gonna be out of here soon. So I'm just hanging out. My head is all up in this tarp. I'm just hanging out with all my little friends. Those little bugs are everywhere, man. And they jump. They're not chiggers though. Chiggers are red. These little bugs are probably harmless. What has Burnwood got himself into this time? Look at what I did with my tripod. Hey, there's more uses for a tripod than just filming. Looks like I've made another little friend. I think what I'm gonna do is use a little pine cone to make a button. It's a little prickly. Maybe I can shave off the little prickly parts off. So I have the pine cone. I'm gonna go on the inside of the tarp. I'm just gonna do a simple overhand knot. Oh yeah. So you may be wondering, what am I going to do about a fire? The ground is sat saturated, soupy. There's no way I'm going to get a fire started on this ground. One man's trash is another man's treasure. Shave a bunch of this up because I want maximum firepower for this damp, wet wood. This pine tree's been down for a while. It was sticking out into the field right here. I guess uh, whoever takes care of this field for the, for the lady <coughs> pushed it back up in here with a tractor or something which I was hoping it was still going to be stuck out in the field. I was going to camp right beside it and burn every bit of it that I could saw up. But I can still get to it. So we'll go ahead and get some of this.
please don't go out. Keep on rocking in the free world, baby. Please don't go out. Please don't go out. My Nathan 4071 ferro rod. Courtesy of Harshman Hills. Really appreciate that. Please don't go out. Please don't go out. Well, it's been slow going, but it never went out. And here comes the chopper. I got sausage and eggs. I'm gonna have a late breakfast. Right now it's about it's about 3.30 in the afternoon. The rain has stopped. I hope no more comes along and there's another deer. That sounds like military helicopter right there. Well, we can't see the helicopter before the clouds. It's overcast. But we can't see the deer. Yep. Come on. I know you're curious. Wait till you start smelling my sausage. I'm freaking starving, man. All I've had to eat today is beef jerky. I love some Jimmy Dean, baby. We're going to cook that up and add an egg to it. Two eggs. And I got a bun. Oh, yeah. Woo. I can feel heat coming out of these holes in this car hood. wouldn't be right if I didn't put some Texas peat on there. So hungry, man. So hungry. Oh, God. I'm pretty happy with the way everything's turned out. I'm not seeing those little bugs anymore all over my stuff. I guess they, they left. I guess I wasn't friendly enough. Fire hood, fire car hood, fire car hood. Got a special treat for later. Might as well go ahead and get out my headlamp. Cause I know it's gonna start getting dark here in a little bit. Man, it's like little heaters right here coming up out of those holes. I'm trying to drive my gloves out. <clears throat> don't, don't want to get them too close. The ground's saturated. My boots are uh, 
my feet are wet. So <clears throat> we're going to take the soles out here in a little bit. Prop my feet up on this car hood. Try to dry my socks out. It's the only pair of socks I got. She's curious. This is going to be a wild night. I may not sleep at all. I hope they don't come bum rush me and kick me. <laughs> that would not be good. Come sniff at me while I'm sleeping. Where's daddy? Where's your big daddy? Man, this is crazy. Can't believe how close they get. It's crazy. Crazy, crazy. Oh yeah, I'm back in the saddle again. Dry feet, dry socks, dry boots. Man, I found that carrying the back of Lamplander and the Boreal 21 is a good combination because this back of Lamplander will saw through smaller stuff easier more efficient than the other one will it's just easier to handle this is a Lag lagunita lagunitas ipa pretty decent beer And it's really not that uh, warm. Low tonight's gonna be 50, lower 50s. Humidity's way up because of all the rain that we had. But uh, now that I got my feet dry, I think it was from walking through all this wet grass going down through the top part of the uh, boot because I don't I don't I mean they're Gore-Tex around the around the bottom I'm hoping I don't have holes in the bottom of my boot but once I got my feet dry my socks dry and my soles back in the game snacking on uh pretzel pieces, honey mustard and onion. Mmm, that's where it's at. That's <clears throat> another piece of wood that I drug over here. Here's what's going on. So I got the fire on one side and this is a pile right here that I'm going to dry out next to the fire. I'm going to try not to let it catch. That way I got fire for the firewood dry in the morning. Because I know I got to have my coffee in the morning, man. Uh. 